This is Tomomi, and I'm going to show you how to build a plan for Microsoft Teams using Teams Toolkit for VS Code. So what I'm going to build is a simple one called Roma Dice. So when a user sends a plan, Dice, the bot replies back with a random number between 1 and 6. So let's get started. Okay, assuming you already have a Teams Toolkit and install a new VS Code, so click that and go ahead and create a new Teams app. Click that and then choose Command Bot, JavaScript, Default, and give this app a name. So let's call it Roll a Dice. And then now this is generating a scaffolding. So now it's done. So let's explore these files. Let's go to bot, source, and hello world command handler. So this is a sample called just a command hello world and a bot replies some message. So let's run this. So uh, choose this debug menu and pick debug edge from the menu and click play or you can press F5 key. You see this debug menu there, right? So it takes a while, but it's going to open up a browser window, in this case, Edge, and um, um, Teams client is running on the Edge browser, and you can install this app. So now it's opening up. So let's click Add to install this bot app in a Teams client. So yeah, so get the suggestions menu. It's a hello world command. So let's just try that. So bot should reply. Yeah, so that's a reply message. It looks like a message is in a card. So we're going to tweak this app. So this first here, yeah, I want to change this uh, suggestions UI. So let's go to templates and uh, this manifest file. So this is where uh, the you know command suggestions UI is defined. It's right here, the commands. So I'm going to change this title to, let's say, dice. Actually, this is a command. So yeah. I want to make it a dice command and I change the description as well. It's good. So let's go back to this command to handle our file. And this is trigger pattern. So this is a command. So dice. And uh, this bot is going to reply you with a random number from one to six, because it's a dice. So I'm going to make this result as a, um, let's see, a math at lower and use math at random to get the integer in between one and six. And I want to display a Im image, a thumbnail image of, you know, the each dice face as well. So I grab this free images from Wikimedia. That's good. And this card data, so this is a message content. And display this random number. And I'm going to add this thumbnail here as well. And this message is going to be displayed in something called Adaptive Cars UI. So I'm going to tweak that UI as well. Save this file. And go to Adaptive Cars and select this JSON file. So this is how the message UI is defined in this file. So let's go to developer portal. 
So it has a lot of goodies, but choose tools and go to this adaptive cars editor. So that lets you create an adaptive card UI easier. So let's give a card name dice and choose one from the template. So I pick this thumbnail card and I'm going to modify this. So I mean, recording this in low resolution, so it's hard to see. So I just close this and here's a UI. I'm going to just use a simple UI. So I'm going to remove those elements that I don't want to use. And that lets you uh, modify the image size and some properties as well. So I'm going to change the image size to something else. Yeah, maybe medium, why not? And I want to change this title in a bold. It's called weight and bolder. The, I guess that looks good. So. And now uh, this tool generated this JSON file. So I'm going to copy. So click that and uh, paste into the code. So I'm going back to VS Code and yeah, delete that and paste. And I'm gonna need to modify this because you know this thumbnail is hard coded, but I want to use this my own thumbnail image yeah and use this variable and the same thing for the other content as well so this is going to be a title i can hard go that but i'm just using variable and another one was a body right right here okay it looks good and save it Going back to the command handler. See, now it looked all good, title, body, and thumbnail. So let's run this again. Hope that works. So now Teams is running on the edge again. So I'm going to install this app again. Come on. Yay, so it got dice command suggestions. So click this and send. Yay, well, I got only one. Let's try this again. So this command is case insensitive. So D, you know, capital D works. And yeah, I got a six and uppercase works as well. Five, yay. Great, that's it for now. You can modify this bot to take a parameter like 20, which can be the number of faces in the dice. So the command dice 20 would return a random number between one to 20 instead of six. Or anything you want, be creative. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to seeing you start building some amazing bots. Mahalo for watching and see you next time.